Now there are a number of ways of dividing up uh, cow's milk allergy into IgE mediated and non-IgE mediated. The main reason that we use this distinction is that IgE mediated cow's milk allergy is associated with a risk or an increased risk of developing the most severe consequence or anaphylaxis. The non-IgE mediated cow's milk allergies are grouped together and usually result in gut reactions. The reason it's important to understand whether a child has an IgE antibody or not is to look at the risk of anaphylaxis. There is a different set of conditions called non-IgE mediated cow's milk allergy and these conditions we think affect uh, about three quarters of those who have adverse reactions to cow's milk. And these are the conditions that clinicians and parents find very difficult to really delineate what is causing the problem. The main reason for this is the types of symptoms vary considerably from child to child. And that is because the cow's milk protein can affect all parts of the intestinal tract. <laughs>